I think I was about three years old, so I don't remember it, but I know I was there. That was important. But I'm also here to watch this exceptional match we're about to see on our screen. It is on Joji versus Suinoko. Uh, I keep bringing up Australian references, but it's the old, old age Kanaji versus Jonah here. Uh, they're about to see on our screens. And you know what? Uh, usually you'd think the matchup to be kind of poor for Snake, mayhaps, but uh, I feel like, oh, poor for Young League, should I say, but I feel like Sunoka has the right gameplay when it comes to this one. Just kind of sticking back with these projectiles, trying to hit the grenades on the way back, catching them, throwing them back, you know. Knows how to work with his own bomb, so he's able to work with Snake's grenades as well. So it shouldn't be too much of a factor here. What will be a factor is all of these aerials that Onjoji is swinging with right now. It's the back airs that are insane. It's a... Uh, the long-lasting hitbox is going crazy, confirming, or at least attempting to confirm off the C4 there, but uh, Suinoko with the correct DI, uh, DIing down and teching on the platform before the uh, before the C4 had the chance to go off, so beautiful. Let's go, my goat on Joji, glad to see you. Is that T behind you? Yes, uh, he was on the mic just before, but does not speak much English, so we, we kicked him off, actually. Very rudely and, and assertively, so. Just like how Onjoji is making a rude and absurd of a lead here in this match. A lot of damage here on Suinoko, which doesn't really mean anything unless we're able to get in and find that final hit, which uh, Suinoko is working towards. The thing about the matchup really is that Suinoko can confirm kills from a distance from ledge traps, that down tilt into up B, an exceptional way to find your stock. Uh, whereas Onjoji kind of has to get in close uh, with this absolute frame trap menace. So, got to be a lot more difficult for Onjoji to find stocks in these situations. The ledge trap is, uh, is definitely a point where you're going to find it. Uh, as we see here with the side B coming out on Clutch. But again, these back airs just trying to hit with any sort of hit, but Suinoko's survivability is built different. Ah, almost avoiding the last hit of that down there just because uh, Snake bad, but you know, maybe Snake good, actually. Down throw up tilt is, uh, is the combo of choice there. Good amount of damage and sending Suinoko up towards the sky. I'm guessing Strides isn't here anymore. Where'd he go? I, I can't find him. Did I, he leave with the other foreigners? I, I, I added him, so like, I, hopefully he sees it. Did they leave without us? I don't, I don't During think Joji so. During Onjoji Suinoko loses round six, are you kidding me? Ron Lynch said he just wants to play, oh, so well, like, huh? yeah, uh, I'm back. Well, you know what, Hello. I want to commentate, so. <laughs> Welcome back to the, to the classic. Okay. You know, I feel like this is my Japan classic. When it comes to commentary duos, you've got, you've got Ron Lynch, Sean uh -huh. from school. Uh, and then you have Zone and Atrix. <laughs> and that's about it. That's actually. about it. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of Japan, that's about it. Ah, oh, do you remember the days of Atrix z -Max? I remember those. Good times. But then I, I traded the Z for another one. Trading the Z drop bomb there. Confirming <laughs> it into an up smash. Absolutely exceptional play from Suinoko. But look at Onjoji just going down from the Angel platform immediately with an air. Just wants to find this kill with his aerials, because that's probably going to be the way you do it. Catching Suinoko out of the air with your aerials. But it's so tough to do. Difficult. Oh, tries on this way back. Okay, oh, that's, nice. good. that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, I thought you were going back to Australia. Glad to see you back in Japan. I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Matt Polk, uh, I'm, glad you're I'm glad you're keen to see me again. I literally go back tomorrow. We'll be streaming the uh, Tazel Major, though, so don't worry. Work. <laughs> should, I should hit up Gimmer and see if I can get the Tazel Major on PGPC. <laughs> that would be fun. I'm just going to take the spot of, like, a big a big Sunday tournament. Oh! oh. Young Link Nair. He, he's, he's so good. <laughs> that was kind of nice. That was so good. As, as opposed to when he did that against uh, Rimu yeah. in the winner side of things, that's what sent him to the loser side. This time <laughs> working, though, because on Joji, not a lot you can do in that situation. Once you're locked in to that up there, you're stuck. You're I mean, stuck. He, he got the edge guard, right? Like, against Rimu, too. Like, uh, yes. Yeah. It was great. Oh, yeah, he got the edge guard, yeah, but he, he just traded he, hits. Yeah, he, yeah. he needed, like, an extra stock. He either needed an extra stalker, he needed the bomb, and uh, oh, Joji thinking he needs Rob right now. Uh, oh. I, I don't think he... <laughs> does he know that... Uh, wait, no, Suinoko did not beat uh, Uwame's Rob in the winner's side. He beat Uwame's uh, Olimar. So, seeing the Rob come out here uh, is a good thing to see. I think Joji also known for his Rob, at least on Smash Made. Uh, is familiar with his character, so it's not just kind of big out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know what? Could be coming out of nowhere for Suinoko, because we are 74% up out of nowhere, but getting our Z-Drop combos... I love this man. <laughs> the good Young Link gameplay is so clean. Like people, people who only play Young Link online, who only yeah. see like the mashy projectile side of Young Link, are completely missing out when it comes to like you see players like uh, Jono in Australia, you see Suinoko here in Japan, you see who's the Japanese one? Skittles? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> does Does America even play Young Link anymore? They gave uh, up. <laughs> Look at it. Like <laughs> 
Young Link never really had like a huge player base to begin yeah. with. I feel like. I think he's like one of those. He's never had a huge player base. He's kind of like a Yoshi, really. You know, like Yoshi, another one of those characters that just has so many good tools. Yeah. That and everyone agrees that he's a great character, but for some reason, no one wants to play him. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Suinoko really wants to be playing in this matchup, doing an excellent job to combo Rob. It's it's a tough thing here. As soon as you swapped off of your uh, snake, which is able to get out of these young Link combos at least with grenades in some situations, the Rob just has to cop the damage. You just have to take it on the chin, or the the the. Yeah. <laughs> what is Robert? Does he have a face? Does Robert uh, have a face? Yeah, that's a, that's a face. Okay. He doesn't two, have a, two like, eyes. He, two eyes, but that's it. Does he have ears? Does Rob feel pain? <laughs> I know that he feels remorse. We learned from Brawl that Rob feels remorse, but does he feel pain? <laughs> <laughs> so we know go bring in the pain right now uh, with all of these arrows and projectiles and combos. That air, especially. Such a fast get off me option and kill option at the same time. Uh, that move, uh, you know, sent into the nightmares of a lot of the Aussies. And it's uh, going to be sent into the nightmares of a lot of these Japan players, too, as long as Suinoko uh, keeps the pressure on, you know. I'm glad he's a content creator. Oh, you saw that? <laughs> that was crazy. He just ducked under the gyro. Just a quick little tuck in, you know, a quick little duck. <laughs> you think either he was going to duck it or he was going to shield it, you know, in that situation. So he's like, he was setting himself up to just protect. Ooh, oh, yeah, he does up. have the shield, so, like, that, that makes sense. Because it will stop the laser in that situation as well, which is probably why he ducks with it, just uh -huh. doesn't want it to like sneak underneath. Almost confirming uh, with those arrows, it, more of a string of these percents than anything, but still a good way to find your stock if you're able to do arrow into Nair. Oh, oh, don't get side beat, please. Please. Young Link, please. Young Link, is please. that it? Yeah, yeah. You oh, got it. Okay, Unjoji is, is up a stock. And Not now we remember why no one plays this character. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Yeah, Rob with the lead is very scary. It's like, what are you doing to get in on this yeah. man at this point, you know? There's not a lot you can do. You just kind of have to pray that you find your kill confirmed. But on Joji at this point, he can start playing passively. He can start playing inside his shield, but not playing passively enough. Gonna gonna cop that boomerang into up air confirm. So much end lag there. I don't know if that was all end lag or if he just chose not to press a button, but it felt like it took ages for the, uh, for the up air to, to finally meet its mark. And Fruition is dead. Oh, trying to set up these back airs again. Oh, which uh, Suinoko has been doing such a good job of, like using back air as a as a confirm or as a combo tool, mm -hmm. using the center platform of this stage. It's it's really good uh, for Yelling, especially against Rob, who's easily comboed on. You're dead. You no? Know? Okay, good to you. <laughs> <laughs> Never doubt Suinoko. <laughs> no, no, no. He knows. He knows. He knows. I was scared. Trying to just frame trap on Joji in the shield there with the with the Zare and the returning boomerang, but not fast enough. We we're gonna oh, be able to back. get the return. Hey, so it's back. Welcome back, Strats. Welcome back to the world of the living. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba you think we'll see a game three? I simultaneously hope so and don't hope so. I want to <laughs> see more of this matchup, but also I just want Suinoko to win. They can go to game three as long as Suinoko wins as well. Bias coming three, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh. Uh, hey! Okay, dash deck wins. We love Young Lin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. This time I'm hoping okay, for sure. Thank you, so. Thank you, sir. I'll have to ask him if he left for the other farmers. Because I saw him chatting with them before. I'm like very curious from where they all spawned from. Uh, but Suinoko uh, continuing to spawn uh, through this bracket, which is uh, exceptional to see from that man as he keeps this run going. And now we welcome to the main stage Mr. Strite to help us close out this year's mapa 140. Uh, it's 140. I remember the number. There he is. Welcome, welcome. Oh, oh, hello. He's back. Hello. So were you you were talking with the other foreign guys that were yeah. here, right? Where, yeah. where did they all spawn from? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I guess there's a lot of people here from uh, the Netherlands, I guess. Oh, but okay. I think they're all studying here. 